halter's the same? I'm going to show you some different halters and their different uses and when you might want to use them. This is a leather imitation halter. I've always wanted a leather halter, but I didn't want the upkeep. And it's a beautiful halter. I would, could use it as an everyday halter. Uh, I'd love to put it on when I'm taking my horse to a show. It has a matching lead. And it um, is very soft and pliable, like leather. So instead of your boring nylon halter, you could have a, a leather imitation halter that looks nice and it's very strong and functional, like a nylon halter. It's not one you should leave on when you turn him out or leave it on when you go into the pasture because like a nylon halter, it won't break. The material actually is extremely, extremely strong. So you can tie him with it, put him in the cross ties, uh, put him, tie him in the trailer, so on, and use it like a regular nylon halter. It just looks nicer. This is a blocker halter and lead rope. Uh, this is a 10-foot rope, and it uh, is very soft in the hand, yet it has a little uh, substance to it, so you can kind of fling it at your horse if you need to, or back him off if you need to. Um, kind of a practical lead rope, also easy to tie. But this blocker halter is very unique. It has a stiff nose piece and uh, reinforced metal inside the nylon, and a stiff reinforced metal um, inside the nylon for the crown piece. And what that does is when you pull on his head, you just get a little more control, and especially for the horses that kind of want to drag you around, this can give you a little upper hand on a horse that is giving you a little bit of trouble. So this is a great halter to uh, teach a horse to lead, lead a horse that's not being very cooperative, as you have a little more uh, control, and uh, that's what it's good for. It's not a halter to tie up a horse or leave them, and it's certainly not a halter to uh, turn out, use it when you turn him out in pasture. In fact, I don't like to put a halter on a horse when you turn him out in pasture ever. So, Another kind of halter is a breakaway halter. This is one made by Barefoot. And this is very useful for tying up horses that you're not sure if they're going to panic, maybe tying them to a trailer, uh, maybe on a high line when you are camping. It has padding on the nose, padding on the crown piece, but the really great feature is the breakaway part, and that is a piece of Velcro here. So this crown piece attaches just with this Velcro, which is secure enough if you're going to tie them and they just pull back uh, gently, but if they really panic, that Velcro is going to give and they'll be free, which is often safer than them being hard tied. It also would be one that you, if you had to leave it on while you were turning them out, it would be one that you could uh, turn them out in um, for a short period of time, knowing that if they got caught on the fence, the, that would break away and they could get loose. And yet another kind of halter is a rope halter. It's nice for control because you, the, the thinness of the halter gives you control of the head. And it's very popular with endurance riders and trail riders to put under their bridle or with a, to make a halter bridle combination. And it's very adjustable. Obviously, you can shorten the, the knots to accommodate different size heads is also not one to tie up a horse or leave on in pasture because it's going to get caught on something and the thinness of it should they panic and sit back would really kind of would really dig into the back of their head so it is not a halter to tie up a horse with either or turn them out but it is nice control so for leading around and training it's a it's a nice tool and also makes a great halter ride